Hello everyone, welcome to another video in our tips and tricks series provided to you by Solid Experts. My name is Michael Habrish, and I'm an application specialist here. For my series of videos, I'm going to be focusing on the 3D Experience platform. More specifically, I'm going to be covering some of the features available to you in the platform's native CAD solution, XDesign. XDesign provides a great amount of flexibility when working with sketches and 3D geometry in your model. Regions of a sketch can be used as a sketch profile for creating a 3D feature. This means that you don't have to have a single closed profile, and at any time you can edit the command and add or remove other regions of that sketch to create the geometry that you're looking for. Another functionality integrated in XDesign is the use of super features, which allows you to switch the feature type at any time. If you originally created an extrude feature, you can change it to a sweep, or if the original geometry was set as a revolve that adds material, you can switch it to remove material instead. These changes can be done at any point in the design process without breaking the model and design history. In this video, I'll show you all these flexible options you can control when working on sketches and 3D features in your design. Sketches are the foundation for many of the 3D features used in XDesign. These features take the selected sketch geometry and then move it along some sort of path through the 3D space. For instance, an extrude feature takes the sketch profile and moves it along a line that's normal to the sketch profile. A revolve feature takes the sketch and moves it in a circle. A sweep feature takes the sketch and moves it along a custom curved path, which typically uses another sketch to define the path. To successfully use these different feature types, it's important to know how to edit sketches properly and change feature options as needed. So without further ado, I'll switch over to XDesign to show you some of these techniques. Here I have a sketch that has overlapping geometry, two rectangles and a circle, which will be used to first create a revolve feature. I'll click on the feature tab and click on revolve. This brings up the command window where all of the geometry is specified and details are included. Before I fill this in, notice the top of the menu of the dialog box with an arrow showing which expands. This shows a couple of other features that can be used based in this sketch. This means that the revolve is part of a super feature functionality in XDesign, which allows features to be swapped out for one another at any point, no matter when it was created in the feature order. I'll come back to this a little bit later. For this revolve, I'll choose this construction line as my axis of rotation. Next, I want to carefully choose the sketch profile. I want to select this region in the lower right part of the sketch, which has the circle and smaller rectangle cutting into the shape of the large rectangle. You can select a single sketch profile, like I did here, or you can select a combination of them. For now, I'll just select this one and click the green check to create the feature. Even though it was straightforward creating this revolve feature, it has a lot of flexibility in the design. As mentioned, multiple sketch profiles can be used to create the 3D geometry. If I go back and edit the feature itself, select contours, I can select the entire circular profile by clicking the individual regions. This can be seen better when I click OK. The sketch profiles aren't the only flexible aspect of the feature. As I mentioned, this is a super feature and can be changed from the revolved command to a different command. All I have to do is go back and edit the command, click on the drop down, and select the feature that I want to use. In this case, I want an extrude feature. Here I can set the depth to 30 millimeters and click OK. Check out how easy it was to switch between them. The next super feature I want to show off is the sweep. This feature requires two sketches, one for the profile and one for the path that the profile will follow. I'll go ahead and show this sketch that I already created for the path. And following the same workflow as before, I'll go ahead and edit the existing extrude feature and select sweep from the dropdown. The last thing I need to do is select the sketch for the sweep path. Here I can press OK, and there you have it. Now I want to show you how the same sketch can be used in multiple 3D features. I'll go ahead and click Undo because I want to continue working with the extrude from before. I'll make sure the sketch is showing using the Design Manager, and I'll hide the other sketch as well. Now I'll enable Extrude and change the feature to cutaway geometry instead of adding geometry. 
I'll select the smaller rectangle profile over here in the top left and select a depth of 15 millimeters. When I press OK, you can see that I've used the same sketch as before to remove geometry instead of add geometry. By using a combination of sketch profiles and super features, you'll be able to model much more intuitively with flexibility along the way. To summarize, X-Design is a very flexible CAD solution that uses the power of super features to edit or change your designs on the fly. That's all I have for you today. I hope you learned something and stay tuned for the upcoming tips and tricks videos where I'll be going over how to use design guidance in X-Design. Thanks and have a nice day.